physics in this video we are going to learn the dielectric constant experiment aim of the experiment is to determine the dielectric constant by using charging and discharging circuit apparatus we are using in this experiment is distal stop clock distal dc voltmeter range is 0 to 20 volt resistors capacitors and 5 volt dc power supply capacitors and resistors are known dimension in this experiment we are going to calculate the dielectric constant the dielectric constant is denoted as k where k is equals to 1.44 tp into d into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by epsilon naught a into r tp is nothing but the time required to get charged or discharged to 50 percent of the capacitance which we are getting from the graph d and a are the thickness of the thickness and area of the dielectric material r is the resistance which we set in the circuit epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space which we taken as 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 this is the we are going to use 5 volt dc power supply s1 and s2 is the toggle r is the resistor c is the capacitor and v is the voltage in this diagram here we can see x and y is the 5 volt dc regulated power supply now we need to connect x to a and y to b after the connection here we have digital stop clock and here we have digital dc voltmeter this side we have resistors this side we have capacitors so c1 c2 c3 resistor r1 r2 r3 is the resistors three types of resistor f is the toggle button as we can denote it as s1 and s2 is the another toggle button s1 is the toggle button which is utilized to change the circuit in charging to discharging mode or discharging to charging mode and s2 is the toggle button which is used to control the time so this is the introduction c is the capacitor v is the voltmeter now initially we need to connect as per the circuit diagram x to a y to b as we can see here x to a y to b now this toggle button switch is already there internally connected so the here we have given one button if we shift upside then the entire circuit will be start to charging the capacitor if we shift downside the entire setup is in discharging mode then the capacitor will turn it to discharging mode this m and n is the resistor connection we need to connect this to this 100 k kilo ohms is the resistance which we chosen here in this experiment c1 is the capacitor and 108 microfaraday is the capacitance of the capacitor c1 is here now connect c1 positive to positive and negative to negative then connect voltmeter positive to positive and negative to negative this is the connection once we done with the connection initially we need to discharge the capacitor by short shortening these two terminal once we ensure there is zero volt at zero second next we need to start the time by changing the direction of this toggle button if it is this side left side the time is in halt if we turn it to right side the time will be started and this button is utilized to reset the time so now start the timer and reset the timer once we start and reset the timer the time will start set it as 
zero zero point zero. And once we ensured there is no voltage in the capacitor, then shift the toggle upside upside. Then shift the toggle button to upside. So entire circuit will start to charge the capacitor. So this is the tabulated values which we are going to see here. So without stopping the clock for every five second, voltmeter reading is noted. The capacitor is charged. For every five second, and voltage across the capacitor after five second is noted from the voltmeter in the tabular column. So zero at zero second, zero charge is there. At five second, one point seven seven voltage is there. At ten second, two point nine one second is uh, nine one voltage is there. So on till we get steady voltage. Repeat the trial. Trial is repeated until the capacitor is charged to maximum and steady voltage up to 4.5 voltage. Once we reach this immediately by using toggle button, by using this toggle button, if initially it is at charging mode, now shift to downward side to discharging mode. Once we start uh, change the discharging mode immediately, the by using this toggle button which is initially it is in charging mode now by using this button shift to downward side so entire circuit is started to discharging mode at the same time reset press this button to reset the time once we reset the time and capacitor will start to decrease its voltage so initially it start from 4.5 and still we get zero we need to decrease the voltage and this is the nature of the graph initially when we are charging initially we need to start from zero to highest level here we are going to maximize for 4.5 voltage once we reach at this time by immediately by using toggle button and reset button reset the charge uh, reset the timer and by using toggle button entire circuit is convert into discharging mode then the nature of graph will start to decrease like this and it will reaches at zero voltage this is how we need to perform the experiment